is a bit a special case because in general agile frogs are distributed throughout Europe and um, not, I mean as all um, European amphibians it's an endangered species but it is not very very restricted. Um, now the agile frog on Jersey Island is, um, it is the northernmost distribution of the species um, in Europe and also since the last ice age when Jersey became cut off from the mainland in France this population here became isolated and genetic studies in the last few years uh, indicated that it's already on its way to become a, a new subspecies and then species. We're talking about ten hundred thousands of years but it is already you know an own population with its own genetic makeup. Like most other amphibians and reptiles and other uh, animals and plants obviously it suffered from uh, human influence i.e. we had habitat destruction here in Jersey because of a big um, boom in, in building developments housing, roads, hotels all these kind of things made the available habitat for those species much and much smaller um, other problems were that because of that um, lots of ponds and wetlands got basically drained and are dry now so again not a useful habitat for it for ex especially for reproduction so it ended up that we had by around 2000 uh, or shortly before that year we had you know less than 50 frogs left on the island you could measure that um, by looking at the output of reproduction so when I started here around 2000 we found three to four clumps of spawn in Jersey from the agile frog and that was it. Le rane agili vivono qui nel sottobosco. Mentre la comune rana verde preferisce stagni e zone umide, la rana agile visita l'acqua solo per deporre le uova. Il colore marrone è un ottimo camuffaggio per gli anfibi che vivono tra le foglie secche degli alberi. I rospi comuni condividono lo stesso habitat e lo stesso tipo di mimetizzazione con le rane agili. I rospi devono confrontarsi esattamente con gli stessi problemi delle rane agili. Fortunatamente è molto più semplice per i rospi sopravvivere in un ambiente sovrappopolato come quello dell'isola di Jersey. In many ways you can compare the situation of the agile frog in Jersey to many problems other amphibians in Europe face. Um, habitat destruction, definitely. Um, water pollution, definitely. Um, there are other factors which are unique. Here in Jersey, for example, we are very densely populated in terms of humans. So we have a 9 by 5 mile um, island populated by 100,000 people. So um, the pressure on the environment by human development is massive and probably larger than all over Europe. Now, on the other side, Europe has an additional problem that the amphibians face, which is uh, a new disease, the kitchen fungus. It's the same fungus that goes around the world at the moment killing off many, many populations and species at the moment. And in Europe we have uh, the chytrid fungus now distributed ne nearly everywhere. And especially in Spain and in England we have big die-offs of amphibian populations due to that fungus. Luckily in Jersey we haven't got that fungus yet. Um, but we are only 20 kilometers from France. Um, it's only a matter of time, I think, until we have that problem additionally. The best answer to those problems was to take the spawn into our aquariums in a quarantine facility um, and then raise them until they're metamorphosed because the, uh, the most vulnerable stage of a frog's life is the tadpole. Um, there is the most predation, they are the most dangerous, they are the most exposed there. So if you can at least protect them in that um, time, then you have the whole spawn actually ready as small frogs and you can uh, build a better, bigger population much quicker. Il container una vera e propria nursery per i girini di rana agile.
Qui lo staff di erpetologia dell'isola sta controllando i parametri dell'acqua. Deve essere tutto perfettamente sotto controllo se si vuole che il progetto abbia successo. I girini vengono nutriti con del comune mangime per pesci d'acquario. Questi girini di rana agile stanno per essere rilasciati. La metamorfosi è cominciata, le zampe sono già formate e presto le giovani rane saranno pronte per abbandonare l'acqua. Yeah, un additional problem in, in Jersey with the agile frog is that in the remaining area where the agile frog occurs uh, we don't have a very stable water table. We don't, in that area we don't have any streams that feed, that constantly feed the uh, ponds in where they spawn. Um, it is all groundwater and rain fed. So probably, uh, for example, uh, the last couple of winters we didn't have any rain hardly in Jersey. And, um, the ponds were actually drying out while the tadpoles were still in there. Um, and that was another reason why we have this big container where we uh, keep uh, and head start the tadpoles, that we then can intervene and take more tadpoles or more spawn in if we think that the ponds are drying out. Um, so this is an additional uh, factor that is influencing small threatened populations even more. Because um, you see amphibian populations going up and down naturally. That is a natural cycle, they have impact, they have bad weather in one year, go down, go up again if it's nice. Um, so this is a normal happening, but it's only okay and you know, can only be tolerated by the species in a stable, healthy population. Now the smaller the population is, the more impact those stochastic events actually have. So um, in the last few years we also buffered against that event. So when we saw there is not enough rain, there is not enough groundwater table, Uh, we would take more spawn uh, from the ponds that are threatening to dry up into our aquariums and then release the juvenile frogs when they don't eat the water again. Alla fine di giugno le rane agili sono finalmente pronte per essere rilasciate nel loro habitat naturale. I girini vengono trasferiti dagli acquari in delle buste di plastica. Lo staff deve stare molto attento durante tutta la delicata operazione di trasferimento. Le buste vengono trasportate in uno dei pochi stagni rimasti sull'isola di Jersey. Grazie anche ad alcuni giovani volontari, i girini arrivano finalmente nel luogo stabilito per il rilascio. Qui le condizioni ambientali sono ideali per lo sviluppo delle rane agili. I girini hanno bisogno di un po' di tempo per adattarsi alla differente temperatura dell'acqua. Il luogo del rilascio sarà tenuto segreto. Intrusi o curiosi potrebbero essere infatti dannosi per le giovani rane.
Le rane agili qui a Jersey sono protette dalla legge e a nessuno è consentito disturbarle. Dopo due mesi negli acquari, le rane agili sono finalmente pronte per tornare nel loro habitat naturale. There is a chance that many of those populations will bounce back, but that will only happen if they are not threatened by any other problems, i.e. if we don't encroach their habitat, if we don't you know, pollute their water, if uh, the um, climate change doesn't hit them too hard, then there would be a chance. But obviously, the smaller the population is, the more vulnerable it is for additional problems. Numerose giovani rane nei pressi dello stagno sono la testimonianza del grande successo del progetto. Thank you.